Hi, my last two episodes were about hard versus soft magic systems. Now, I'd like to take this time to talk about my favorite subject or my favorite genre, which would be soft science fiction. I'll cover hard science fiction in a future episode. Soft science fiction is pretty much what I write. People might call it space fantasy or space opera. Um, most people, when they think of what this is, they think of Star Wars. There seems to be a lot of it missing in books as far as recognizable titles go. I'm aware that the Vokosigan saga is very popular and I have read that. There are a lot of popular space opera books, but none of them have really hit like the mega, mega masses of the world like in a way that Stephen King's books and J.K. Rowling's books have become like household brand names. So there does seem to be a lot more of it in TV and film, and in comic books, of course. Um, there are techno thrillers, which sort of blur the line. And I would say there's some hard science fiction that kind of goes to the fun and pulpy side of things. One might say that books like Wool or Ready Player One fall into that category, where or Snow Crash even, um, where it's a crazy virtual reality world. There's lots of fast paced action still based on hard scientific concepts though. The same thing with a lot of Michael Crichton's work, such as Jurassic Park. Um, so the way I see it, the, the main difference really is that uh, in hard sci-fi and in all these techno thrillers and so forth, they're built around an idea, a scientific premise, such as what if there was crazy nanotechnology or bioengineering? What if we could bioengineer dinosaurs? Um, so the story is then built around that wad of premise. Whereas with soft science fiction, it's a little bit more like epic fantasy and that sort of thing where the story is built around a sociological issue. Um, what if you had magic powers and you could take over the world? Um, so it's a little bit more of a personal or sociological issue. The science falls around it and it's part of it and the advanced technology is in there, but it's not the main main premise of the story. So that's what I'm writing. So and, and it's more of an epic fantasy like premise. The scientific research involved is so so there's like different ways you can approach scientific research. Um, so when a character like I think okay my characters need high-tech weapons to shoot each other. If I was writing hard sci-fi I would think well uh, let's see what's the best kind of futuristic weapon and I'd build the weapon from there. But because I'm writing a different type of story, I think what kind of weapon would be really wearable and easy to use for the bad guys <laughs> and the good guys? Um, so I, I come up with like a good weapon design and then the armor that might counteract that. And then once I have that in my head, I've imagined how it's gonna look, how it's gonna feel, how it's gonna be used in the story, what the victims look like when they're shot and so forth. At that point, that's when I start debating, okay, well, how can I accomplish this? Would it be laser guns or ray guns or rail guns? And then I start researching the science. Um, but all that research, I would say 5% of my science research goes into my stories. Um, it's not the main thing. The characters don't sit around listening to lectures about how the, the faster than light technology works or anything like that. They don't usually know how it works. It's sort of part of their universe in the same way that moving staircases are part of the Harry Potter universe. It's just there. Now the rules never change and there is science behind it, but it's not necessarily talked about in the story. Now I would say that, that pulp science fiction sort of is alive and well in books, but it's usually categorized elsewhere. So for instance, Stephen King's books, um, it and the Tommyknockers both involve aliens coming to Earth and wreaking havoc, um, or a, a, one alien or alien ghosts. Um, so it's a pulpy premise, but those are categorized under horror. They're never really talked about as being soft sci-fi. Um, and I've, I see that a lot. Uh, so, you know, military sci-fi and hard sci-fi are all definitely alive and well in books, but I believe that Soft science fiction is overdue for a renaissance. I think that it needs to be its own sort of thing in the same way that Stephen King revitalized horror and in the same way that J.K. Rowling sort of revitalized the young adult genre. I think that there's a lot of room for space fantasy with 
sweeping battles, epic scope, high stakes, romance, and so forth. We just haven't seen a lot of it yet that's hit big time, that's really hit the public consciousness, but I think that that's going to happen. I hear a lot of writers are writing stories along those lines, and I can't wait to read more of it. If you or anyone you know is writing soft science fiction or space fantasy that you think has bestseller potential and it's just really something you rave about to all your friends, please let me know about it. And don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next week.